told you about this breaking news, a presumptive case. We're talking about the coronavirus now in Montgomery County. This would be their first. The patient, a man in his 40s, being treated at a local hospital. His positive test has been submitted now to the CDC for final confirmation. They are also looking into this as a possible travel history as well, wondering where he traveled to. That brings the total number of cases right here in the Houston area to 13. Two confirmed and two presumptive cases in Harris County. One confirmed, one presumptive in Houston. Six presumptive cases in Fort Bend County. And now, of course, that one case in Montgomery County. ABC 13's Marla Carter live breaking down everything we need to know about these local cases. Marla. That's right, Art, and you mentioned there are 13 cases, that one in Montgomery County. Of course, we just learned about this afternoon. Of those other 12, we do have an update on those. We do know out of those 12, two are in the hospital. The other 10 are at home self-monitoring. In all 12 cases, officials look at who those affected may have been in contact with and trace them. Still, there are concerns there could be more cases to come. And health officials want to make sure that those that are most vulnerable are aware, including people who are in need of or have had a transplant recently. We're one of the largest centers in the U.S. Houston Methodist sees transplant patients from all over the world. So basically the transplant patients, whether they're pre-transplant or post-transplant are both quite vulnerable for any infection, uh, particularly one that there is no prior history of immunity to because of lack of exposure, so something like the COVID-19 where it's making its first pass through humans. As for the post-transplant, their immune system is lowered for another reason. As we give them medications to lower their immune system response to the transplants, it also lowers the response to infections. Doctors say the best thing patients can do is use common sense, stay away from sick people, and limit travel. Now, there has been a lot of misinformation circulating around concerning COVID-19, and that has impacted Chinatown here in Southwest Houston. In fact, so much so that some businesses have seen a 50% or more drop in business. We'll take a look at that coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live from the Med Center, Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.